Well, hello everyone, and happy Thanksgiving. Today, I'm going to be enjoying, definitely enjoying, the VL Rouge by Bell Breaker Brewing, a Vinovese ale. I'm trying this on a wide angle, so I'm not sure how this is framed. Anyways, this is Thanksgiving Day. I'm at my sister's house, hence this really nice backyard. Gosh darn, it's beautiful. Hashtag, I live in a forest, right? <laughs> um, so this is an interesting beer by Bale Breaker. It's one of their limited releases. I have several of these in my aging cupboard. I enjoyed the uh, melodramatic, actually, just earlier this week. It was the beer I chose as a particular celebratory event beer. And uh, oh, delicious beers. I mean, any of melodramatic, any of, sorry, any of Bale Breaker's big bottles, good stuff. The label on this, and I don't often read the label because I don't want to predispose myself, but I've also already drunk the beer, so whatever. Um, Vinovese is a new style of beer fermented with wine grape juice, exclusively made during crush. So, uh, made during crush. Grape juice is made by crushing grapes, so I'm not sure how the mechanics of that work, but that's interesting. Um, and it's it's fermented with wine grape juice. So it's still a beer, so it's grain-based. It's not a wine, it is a beer. But they ferment it with wine grape juice. So wine itself is traditionally fermented using the, like traditional wine, historic wine styles, were fermented by the yeast in the grape skins. So I wonder if that is a source of the yeast. Um, but then they go on. This Belgian-style Saison was brewed and fermented, brewed and fermented, with Malbec grapes from Elephant Mountain Vineyard, and then aged with Britannomyces wild yeast in Yakima Valley red wine barrels for nine months before bottle conditioning. So this beer was nine months old before it was bottled, um, and it was bottled September of 2020. So it is a two-year-old beer in the bottle, and before that it was nine months. And it's a 10% ABV, real low bitterness. Um, it's a 750 milliliter bottle, so wine bottle size. Um, I won't pre, uh, describe the, the, or read off the flavors they describe, but so it's a Saison, so it's the Britannomyces yeast, but it was fermented using grape juice. That's interesting. So I guess they added grape juice during the fermentation process. Um, so. Just the smell of this thing is like Welch's. Oh, it's it's really it's a the, the grape is there. Um, it smells really good, and it's aged in red wine barrels. I believe I already mentioned that a Vinovese ale. They also have a Via Blanc, which I also have with me. But as they're I'm the only beer drinker here today. I'm gonna limit myself to one bottle. <laughs> Anyways. Just, just off the bottle, there's like a Welch's grape juice, you know, juicy, sweet grape ness. When you dig your nose in, it's more of a a really nice, really interesting, um, like exciting level saison. So you're not getting too much sharp bitterness. You're getting this really, really interesting. Um, not quite spiciness, but there's an acidic note to the smell. Um, it's more of red wine once you stick your nose in there versus Welch's grape juice. But there's also definitely the malt. You can smell the malt in there. It's it's a really light malt, like a cracker malt. The color is is quite red. It, or it, I mean, it's to the red side of amber, so it's it's amber colored. I would guess that this is naturally like just the beer is going to be much lighter. It's going to be a, a Pilsner color, a, a straw color, and it's the grape juice and the wine barrels that have added most of this color rather than a malt, a red malt or an amber malt. It just smells good. It smells interesting. It doesn't smell like any beer you've smelt if you haven't smelled this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it smells good. Um, so, so kind of grape juice from the bottle, more red wine from the from the cup, 
and and definitely a maltiness in there. So it's still it's still definitely beer. It's not not beer. That's for sure. That's a go ahead for a drink. You know, it it kind of follows the same the same path that the nose does. So first off, it's like there, there's grape juice in here. That's definitely grape juice. So kind of a, a Welch's, but it's not sweet. It's it's the thing that makes grape juice grape juice other than the sweetness that you taste. And then there's kind of a like a, a mustiness, um, not like a not like a you know old decrepit abandoned dry dustiness, but like grape must. Grape must is, I believe, like the leftover skins and seeds and stuff from the winemaking process, the, the the chunky stuff that doesn't make the bottle. Um, and and so it's kind of this kind of intense essence of grape in there. Uh, and then where does it go? It goes home. <laughs> Gosh darn it, it goes home. Um, from there, it goes to a, a, a jammy. And this is all to the dry side. Like It's surprising how, how much essence of grape there is in here without being sweet, without being that super sugared, you know, like you know, grape jelly. You think of grape jelly and you think sweet, but there's something to the grape jelly that makes it grape versus just sugar that's in here that is in here in spades and it's really 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 gosh darn tasty um so i'm i'm two glasses in already hence my effusiveness and ebullience <laughs> um, uh, but it's just a gosh darn good beer it's it's very it, it's still recognizably beer it is not wine there's a maltiness to it there's a um, you can taste the yeast. The yeast is present in this. It's a Britannomyces yeast, so it's it's got the funk, but it's paired with this really present, really um, evident, tasty, delicious um, grapeness. <laughs> like all the stages of the grape: the grape must, the, the peel, the skins, the, the, the all the all the the, the leftover refuse grapeness, and then. The grape jam, so that kind of thick essence of grape, and it's all there, and it smells good, it looks good, it tastes good. This is definitely a very interesting, <laughs> I, I enjoy it a lot. It's a good beer. It's a very good beer. I am thankful, I'm thankful for life, you know? Um, I'm thankful for siblings, I'm thankful for family, I'm blessed. If you didn't know that, I'm blessed. You're blessed too, but I can only speak for me. I'm blessed. And and it's good to have. A friend at work commented the other day that Thanksgiving was her favorite day. And I took a wild guess. Is it because it's not so, you know, commercialized? And she said, yeah. It's because it's still about the name of the holiday. It's a day to be thankful. I am thankful. I have a lot to be thankful for. I'm not as thankful as I should be. My thankfulness does not match all that I have to be thankful for. And that's something that I need to fix about me. Um, yeah. I'm thankful for good beer. I'm thankful that God made, you know, uh, biology that, that produced um, you know, that yeasts, little teeny tiny animals that, you know, that, that inhabit so much of creation that turn juice and, and um, grain water into, into delicious things that have amazing tastes. Um, I'm grateful for that. Grateful for family. I'm thankful for Wow, just a, a nice day today. It's like a sunny day. It's almost, it's supposed to hit like the upper 50s today here in the Northwest. So super awesome. And um, all that. I'm thankful for y'all too. Anyways, this is Matthew. I've been chewing the brew. 
I'll catch y'all on the flip side.